Welcome back to the Let's Play for Fallout 4 series. This is Stormcrow, and let's get started. We obviously start with a new save every time. We're only four hours in. It feels like much, much longer. All right. Power is out. How do I even look like this? I look crazy. Quick save. Sometimes I don't like these, uh, the the novice ones as much as I like the advanced ones, because there's a lot more letters involved in the advanced ones, so I can easily sort, I can much easier sort through which ones are good and which ones are bad, but not always with the novice ones. I have to actually take a really hard tries reset twice. That is some damn bad luck. That's an open... Oh no, that's not a... That's a different type of clothes. Oh no, that's dead removed twice. I thought it was, I thought it was tries your set. I'm not the smartest knife in the drawer. I'm just having fun with Fallout 4. Ha 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 ha. Really? Three open, and not a single one, and that clothes didn't fit with any of them. Alright. Start boss. Nothing. Can't be hold. Can be meal. Nice. Here we go. Did you find anything? Engine core power restored. Ooh, fusion core. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. I heard this is the correct way of doing this. Three, two, one. It would appear my target has disappeared. Engine firing. Completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. <laughs> Last time I did it, I just went in guns blazing. Going down. That deserves a quick save. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Fan out and check the 
transmitter as well. Let's get out. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Fine, uh, Minute Man. I can never remember names of people. Ever danced, because he's Buzz Lightyear. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. Caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Oh, baby. 31 damage. I'm going to put a scope on that. Life is going to be good. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You're not seriously thinking about joining the Brotherhood, are you? General? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more <laughs> Don't think he's gonna this like that. <laughs> thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. I hope you know what you're doing, General. You seem to trust in the good intentions of the Brotherhood a lot more than I do. One day, you may have to choose between them and us. I hope it never comes to that. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me <laughs> back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Didn't think Preston would really like that. All right. Let's level up. All right, level nine, that means another point in Rifleman. Test non, do 40% more damage. Or... Let's, uh, let's drop off all the crap first. I usually do armor second. Life I doubt perfect. there's any Let armor. Fighting. I meant to check the armor first, but I'm guessing there wasn't any. Tab. Inventory. Apparel. It's inventory. Apparel. Unless I have all jumps. Okay, good. Weapons. I have a lot of weapons. I'm going to have to actually go through. Get out of the way, fool. Alright, regular 10mm pistol. Good. Automatic Institute pistol. We can probably nuke that. Keep the revolver for the 45. 
Institute pistol will keep for now. Quick hardened pipe sniper rifle. 22 damage versus righteous authority. Now, let's go ahead and modify this and change the sights to a short scope. We can't do medium scope yet without science one. Okay, we can do science one next. Long scope is science two. Long recon scope is science three. But we can go ahead and do a short scope. There's no problem with that. Long barrel's good for full stock. Standard capacitor. What am I missing? Crystals. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so I got... I don't need this one if I got this one. That's just the way it is. So I can... Remove that charge pistol versus this tip. Keep the shotgun, keep Roger's authority, keep. Probably don't need that, but we'll keep it for now. Alright, what are we looking at? 12 minutes? Alright, this is a good end, end of this uh, episode. Quick save. Well, uh, this has been the second part of the Archjet adventure. Um, you know, it's been, uh, it was a lot of fun actually going through that with uh, Buzz Lightyear or Paladin Dance, however you may want to call him. Uh, this has been a part of the Let's Play series for Fallout 4, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Stormcrow signing off.